It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today I'm going to be showcasing to you guys my supplies, the supplies that I use, and everything will be provided in the link down below. So the first uh, supplies that I'm going to show you guys is these uh, Sakura Micron set. So these come in different lengths. So I have the zero, zero 01 and zero 03 length. The highest length that goes is zero 08 and the lowest length it goes is 0 0.05 and so that's what the entire set is like so I bought a Copic multi-liner so I could get into finer detail because the lowest this goes is 0 0.05 however with this brand the lowest it goes is, uh, is 0 0.03 so I could get into more uh, more detail more fine details so this is why I bought it. This Copic Multiliner brand tend to they tend to be more expensive than the uh, Sakura Micron. So what I tend to do is I just buy the Sakura Microns, and if I need to go to finer detail, I'll just buy just one of these. The second, uh, so the second uh, supply that I have is this uh, brush here, and it's in Japanese. It's a brush print. I don't know the name of it. It will be provided in a link below. So yeah, it's in Japanese, it's a brush pen, I don't know the brand name, but yeah. And I also use a a ruler, that's that's common, just to just for measuring. I tend to use these for my backgrounds. And I have a uh, I have a Kuru Toga, a Kuru Toga pen. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter what pen you use or what pencil you use. It's just uh, it's just whatever you feel is most comfortable. I feel this is a lot more comfortable, and this goes down to uh, 0 0.5. You know, and I feel that uh, using drawing with like such a, a little thin point will help uh, prevent less smudge. This is why I use this this pen, this pencil. This mechanical pencil and uh, the eraser I like to use is also pink pearl eraser they tend to be a uh, more smudge resistant smudge resistant so the combination of the pink pearl eraser and this they go well and so the next the next supply that I use is uh, this this click eraser here now this is a uh, a mono mono zero click eraser and I just use this to erase fine details because when you're erasing with uh, with this this tends to be this tends to be like really big and fat however when you're erasing with this this is like really small and so I can get into like really fine details when I'm erasing so let's say if I were to erase like a face or something or something that's really small in the background this is what I tend to use this for and uh, I have you know this paper and the leader the leader ink uh, this the leader ink is for whenever I am using my G pen so I'm gonna bring out my G pen here so this the leader ink is when I'm using the G pen and the reason why I have two is that this is this is actually filled with water so I don't have to like keep leaving and going away from my room so to like just to get this nipped wash I could just wash it here and then clean it with a paper or so and then continue on with my work and then constantly keep dipping into the actual ink so this is uh, the leader black ink six that I use and there's paper and this is this is the uh, nib. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes, yeah, I, I yeah. Sometimes I use this uh, G pen. Sometimes I don't. I'm I mostly use the uh, these uh, Sakura Micron pens. But yeah, this is also a good uh, a cool tool to use. And uh, I have here. Now this is a a kind of whiteout. Uh, this is also in in Japanese. I'm not sure what this brand name is. 
signal signal so what this is it's like a uh, it's like a a white out pen so you don't have to use something like this you know because I, I I don't really like something like this because the brush tends to like really mess up a little bit however for this you have you have a lot more control since it's in like a like a pen form so you could really like uh, work your magic with it you know and you have a lot more control so this is why I use this and what I have here are just a bunch of uh, this is like nibs for the leader and for this these sets of uh, black these black things these are uh, these are just uh, fillers they're they're fillers for my uh, whenever uh, this lead runs out for this pen I just have uh, these fill ups you know quick fill ups and for my uh, my copic my copic uh, art uh, I you I use a uh, uh, 72 D set colors and I also have you know uh, these uh, these are uh, the Copic the Copic art for my uh, for uh, coloring skin tones these are really helpful for skin tone so this is a uh, another extra thing that I use and you can uh, it will be down in the link below and I have like I bought Besides the uh, the color D and the the, the skin the uh, the skin tones for Copics, I bought a few extra ones here. I bought the uh, so right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the extra ones that I bought, I'm gonna say is a neutral gray mustard, uh, yellow buttercup, and yeah, these are just the uh, extra ones that I use. Also, I, I bought the cal the colorless blender here. So yeah, just in case you guys wanted to know the extra copic markers I bought separately. So I'll just put this away. And right here we have French curves and these are useful for drawing. What I feel like using them for is drawing speed lines, curvy speed lines. Though I don't use them as much, I'd like to start to use them more. And yeah, I used to call them curvy rulers. So yeah, but they're actually called French curves. So that's one of the, that's another supply that I have. Uh, and the other one, the last few set of supplies that I use is this, for example, this is the A4 type paper. This is my first paper. This is the cheapest at the, at the same time. So this is the cheapest and my first, uh, the leader paper. And don't quote me on the cheapest part. Maybe it's the cheapest one that I've bought. So yeah. So this is the uh, A4 paper, and it it's small. We're gonna compare the sizes, as you can see here. If you can get a grasp of that, and I started to evolve from from that to the uh, the B4 paper, and I evolved from it just because of the fact that it's a uh, it's bigger, and I like going into more detail. And compared to the smaller ones. Uh, the bigger ones, they the bigger ones provide you more space so that you could get in to the nitty gritty detail. Since I do enjoy doing backgrounds, so yeah, this is the uh, the other one, and the last one I have is actually I bought this one by mistake, and this is actually this is the red the leader paper. Uh, I don't know the type because it's blurry and it's worn out, and I haven't like used it in a while until recently. And so if you guys want to know, this is like the AK type and it's red. And this, what I've noticed the difference is this is a lot more, this is a lot more thick and it's, it's rough. It's more, it's more strong, you know, compared to the other ones. So I feel what this is useful for is, is if you're doing any watercolor or any heavy, heavy liquid base artwork, this, this would be, this will go really useful. And this tends to be more expensive, not not that much, but it's 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 affordable, you know. It, it's it, it isn't that much. It's like a, I guess four or five dollars more, you know, depending on where you buy it. So yeah. And 
the last supply I have is this avocado. Now this avocado prevents cancer and it helps reduce depression in artists and it's also great for digestion. So yeah, avocados, good. And yeah, that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and uh, yeah, peace out.